Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this smart door lock by Smonet. Now, they did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is, what comes with it, and how it works. So this is actually going to be a, a very detailed video, and I will probably break this up into several different videos for you. I'll do an unboxing video to show you all the bits and pieces that comes with it. We're also going to do an installation video because this is one that needs to be installed right in your door. Um, so I'm going to show you all the steps that's needed needed to do that and then also how to use this how to program it how to put your your keep your key codes in uh, there is an app with this it's app controlled and again it's a smart lock there's a lot to it so uh, we're going to set that up also in a, another video so please pay attention and, and watch these other videos um, if you need to you can select which ones you need the most to make the decision on if you would like to buy this product or not so let's go ahead and get started first with what comes with the package we're going to do an unboxing and show you all the bits and pieces okay here's everything you're going to get in the package you do get some hole cutting guides in case you do need to cut holes into the door uh, you have those there's also uh, instruction manual frequently asked questions uh, the manual is very detailed uh, lots of uh, pictures photos information step-by-step -step guides on how to install it I'm going to show you a lot of that anyways and then also there's a, a app you need you need to download the smart app for it because it's a smart lock and it does all kinds of stuff throughout the app which is really cool um, again I'm gonna do a video based on how to set that part up and how to set up all the um, the codes and everything because you can put like 300 codes into it if you have 300 people that needs to come into your door uh, there's uh, those options as well um, but anyways that's the instruction book now you're also going to get some fun things this is a the g2 gateway this is a little remote gateway kind of thing because again this is all automated and smart you are going to get a package of screws and all kinds of little bits and pieces and and uh, the door striker you're also this comes inside of it too this is your deadbolt part and it is adjustable depending on the um, the hole size if you if you twist it let's see where is it uh, twist it and pull it you can extend it out or you can lock it into place like that um, different things you can do with that it's very adjustable they do give you a screwdriver which is also very nice because you will need a screwdriver and they do give you a drill bit now on this drill so you do need a drill um, if you use this option because this actually has a third hole option so you do have your your door handle here and then um, the the one that goes in this direction but there is another option for a an extra security this is a uh, you can drill a hole through your door and mount in a separate little screw so you have a couple of screws that mount on and then a third one up here now um, I did check with them and they said that you do not need to do this way I am NOT gonna drill a hole into my door um, I don't want to do that uh, for this demonstration and installation um, if you do want to do it that's fine but they said that they are making a version they're going to revise this a bit where you don't need to do that and have still the same kind of very good secure tight fit but that's what that uh, drill bit is for um, if you're watching this and you do get that that's what it's for if you're watching this video and you get this package and it does not come with that that's probably because they eliminated that little whole thing so they were kind of future proofing this <laughs> situation here um, you are gonna get a set of keys you do get some real keys because even though everything's so automated and keypad and app locked and all that stuff in case of all else fails you get keys available on it and this is a mounting bracket here that goes part of the installation this is your um, keypad part of it now this has a, a, a little protector thing that you can remove and then also this is under here is where your keypad is they give you this little little key thing here a little little needly punchy thing and you're just going to press that in and push up on it and it reveals that so if you want to hide the keypad you can hide it or you can just take that off not a big deal and leave it off and now you have access to the keyhole and then on the bottom here there's two little little metal pod things here if you can see that if it's still there in focus okay um and what this is is backup because this is battery operated if for some reason the batteries die um all you need to do is get a nine volt battery and take that nine volt battery and hold it up against this and that will be enough to power it up to unlock it in case you need to to do that 
Uh, and then this is all the inside parts. There's you know weather sealing gaskets. Of course, there's the power cable that has to go through. And the rest of this is all for mounting. And this is the inside. So that's the outside. This is the inside. Uh, like I said, there's ba batteries needed. It does not come with it. So you need four double A batteries. And then you have your turn knob on the inside. And then this plugs in. There's a little port down there that plugs in and everything gets all put together. This is going to be part of the installation uh, part of it there. But um, and then there's also another rubber seal. So that's that's the inside part of the lock. And that is everything that you get with the package. Now, the next step is to install it. And then we're going to go and talk about how to set this up and how to program it and how to do the key pad and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for uh, another video. Okay, now I'm going to show you the installation of the lock part itself. We're going to start with the deadbolt part. I did make sure that it is the right size. Again, you can change the size of this um, by twisting it and then pulling it out. So you can change it if, you're, if your throw is a little bit longer. Now this here says up. That part goes up. So we're just going to inset insert this in like this. Now you may have to chisel out a little bit of the corners um, on this if it doesn't fit in there properly this one seems to be doing okay and i'm going to screw that in now if you're replacing a deadbolt it should go through pretty easily with everything that you already have they're pretty universal for the most part um, this one just goes in tighten that down and that part is good to go Okay, the next step is to put in the keypad part of it here. Now, as I said before, is that there's a, um, in the instructions, they talk about a hole to drill through here. I am not going to drill the hole. Um, the manufacturer says I do not have to do it. It does add for extra security and extra stability of it, but they said they're changing the, uh, the way to do it. Um, so I am not drilling a hole in there, but the, um, you're gonna wanna put this into the slot. Now we're gonna run the cable underneath this and we're going to run this little stick kind of thing um, through the plus and it's going to be straight up and down so we're going to just put this in like this and you want to make sure your little rubber gasket is on there as well kind of all at the same time that just comes in like that there it just holds on into it so once you feed that in you want to make sure that this is all good and lined up now it's just going to kind of set in there um, it's not holding in there or anything yet you can adjust it to make sure that it's straight up and down um, but it's just going to set in there until we can get the other piece on the back okay the next step is to mount this bracket in here now there has a couple of these pins and these pins go down to the lower section here and um, the screw holes go through there as well so you want to make sure this is all pulled in this is going to go underneath and actually to the side so we're gonna, you kind of have to Hold it, put everything all together at the same time. You almost need two sets of hands, but we're gonna we're gonna get that in there. There we go. So now these are the longer screws, and you want to just kind of get them in there. Not really tighten them down yet until you want to make sure that everything is is uh, straight and set. So that looks good there. Okay, now is the inside part here, but I want to show you from the outside of the door. This is the outside. You got the keypad. Um, you want to find out what is if your left door, left hinged or right hinged. So in this case, we're right hinged. Hinges on the right when you're facing the door. So on the back of this um, inside part, you're going to want to come over here. And there's a little switch. Is a right or a left? This is a right hand, so you want to go to the right. If it's going the other direction, you switch it to the left. Okay, and since we're the uh, right-handed, you want this to go straight up. If you're left, if you, you have to switch it to the left, then you're gonna turn it that direction. So we're gonna start it straight up like that. And now the thing is you gotta take the uh, cable here and plug it into the little spot there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna put this on here and we're gonna screw it into a couple places. So there's the tiny little screws that go into those two and then the longest screw that you have will go into this one here in the bottom. Now you can test it by just turning the knob, make sure it works, that part works fine. Now we're going to go ahead and put batteries in it.
Put them all in there and put the cap on it. Just like that. And you are ready to go. Okay, to test that it's working, um, you can do a couple of things. One is to, um, of course, use the key. So we can put the key in, turn it, it unlocks, no problem, and it locks. So that part is good. Of course, you got the, the uh, on the other side here, on the inside. Now, to lock it by the keypad, all you're going to do is press and hold the pound down. So now by using the code, you want to make sure it's active. And then get one, two, three, four, five, six pound. And that unlocks the door. That is just the, um, the temporary code uh, to it. Now, the next step is to set up all your codes through the app and also through the keypad if you want to. There's several ways you can do that. That part of it will be coming up next. Here's how you program the SmoNet keypad lock. Uh, you do need to get the um, app, the TT Lock app um, here, which is very easy to download. Uh, there's also lots of instructions inside the book here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the lock to the app. If I press on the top left corner of the little menu, there's a thing that says add lock. So we're going to hit add lock and we're going to do the door lock. Touch any key. To activate and you see uh, one of them pops up so you're gonna hit press the plus button oh there you go you hear it beep okay it read successfully okay um, select your door opening direction outside it's gonna be open to the right from the outside Operation successful. Here we go. So now it's all set in there. So if you want to lock it, all you have to do is you press and hold the button in the middle of the lock button. And it automatically locks, just like you saw. So now this can be done remotely, which is really nice. So now if you tap it, it unlocks. So press and hold it to lock, tap it to unlock. Okay, to set passcodes, um, you can just press the passcode button. And if there's nothing in there, we're going to hit the generate passcode. And you can see that you can have it generate a, a permanent code for you or a timed. So if you want someone to be able to use a code for 24 hours and that's it, that's all you um, need to do. You, you can set that up. You can do a one-time code only. You can do a custom code, reoccurring code, and erase. So let's just do like a custom code. We're going to make it permanent. We're going to go ahead and put my name in. We're going to put a custom code of 1234, set passcode, and it's there and hit complete. So now if we come over to the keypad, and let's go ahead and lock it. Okay, so that's locked. Now all I have to do is go 1, 2, 3, 4 and it unlocks. So you can set up your passcodes that way as well. A lot of different options for setting up passcodes. Um, you can set up the authorized administrations and then of course the records. This, this re records um, who opened up your locks and at what time and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's fairly simple to do. There's a, there's a lot going on here but it's pretty simple to do and that's how you set all your codes, keypad codes, for the lock through the app. Okay, as you saw, it was fairly simple to install and to set up with the app. Now, the other thing that this package comes with is their G2 gateway. That's this little, little, almost looks like a button, but it's not a button. There's no nothing to press. It does come with a little power adapter, power cable, and this gives you a Wi-Fi type feature that you connect it to the app, and it connects also to your home automation. You know, the things you talk to and say, Surrey, lock my door, or Google, lock my door, that kind of stuff. That's what this one is for, is to connect it up into the Wi-Fi system and the hub, the whole bit. Um, pretty cool little accessory if you use that kind of thing. So that is the, the, the very good details of the SmoNet keypad lock. Uh, again, I did three videos on this one because I did the unboxing part. I have an installation video and I have a video on how to use the app and how to 
program in the keypads and all the codes and all that kind of stuff. So I hope one of those videos actually gives you the opportunity to decide whether this product is right for you. And if it is, go get one. It's pretty cool. It works well. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.